I wanna visit all the places nobody goes. I wanna teach all the things that nobody knows. I wanna grow wings, leave the coop, learn to fly. Bungee jump from the tallest building in Dubai. I wanna fly around town in my UFO. I wanna eat real food, not the GMOs. I wanna make moves, call the shots like the boss. I wanna love like I never lost. Today's episode of Desertwood Days with Kathy Blaze is sponsored by Cole, Obart's Entertainment. Providing amusement, celebration, and distraction since 2013. To find out more visit us on the web at www.coleobartsent.com. Welcome back to Desertwood Days, and I am so excited to have one of our friends to the show back again. He is one of the founders of Arizona Filmmakers. Let's welcome Mr. David A. Navarrete. Hello there. Hi, how's it going? Good, good, good to see you good again. To see you too. Such a pleasure. Thank you for having me. It's been oh, were you were you on a season one's guest? Season, season two? two? Season yeah. two. Season oh two. wow, it seems like it's been such a long time. I know. At the same time it feels like I was just here, like I just you know, everything. Yes. And you know what? It is amazing to see within that time, because it's really been a short period of time, but time has been flying by, it just seemed like so fast. Yeah. But the last time we had you here, you were, um, speaking of Moneta. Moneta, Moneta. Yeah. I don't know why I want to make it sound so, <laughs> so Moneta. <cursive-y>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you were speaking about the things that you do with that part of your brand, mm-hmm. but you were also starting something new in our community, um, Arizona Filmmakers. Yes. Tell us a little bit about Arizona Filmmakers. Um, so last time I was on the show, I was kind of hinting at wanting to create a community called Arizona Filmmakers, which at the time, my whole goal with that was just to be make more friends, like mm-hmm. you guys, meeting mm-hmm. you guys and stuff. And uh, little did I know, it kind of blew up. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, well, now I have, I feel like I have a responsibility. Yeah. Let's really bring the community together and create opportunity, mm. highlight Arizona, and show other states what Arizona has to offer, right. while at the same time uh, fostering community mm. over competition, right? which right. I was seeing a lot yes. in this community. Yeah. yeah, and you know what? You did something that's really positive for our community, and I've seen people of all walks of life at your events, um, young, old, small, short, tall, (laughs) Um, different parts of the industry, filmmakers, actors, models, some of everyone that touches different areas of the entertainment industry. And I've heard nothing but positive things about it. And, and, and you know what, that's, that's really hard to get all of that in one place. Mm -hmm. And, and you've done something well with that. So with, you have your partner is Stefan. Steph, yeah, Stefan. What, Stefan, what's yeah. his last name? Stefan Collins. Stefan Collins. Um, you guys seem to work really well together. So you guys seem like you have a special sauce when it came to this. Mm-hmm. Because I think we had gotten to a point where people were, were kind of sick of networking events. So you guys made it something bigger than a networking event. Yeah. How, how did you come out? What did you guys do in the kitchen? Got in the kitchen and said, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. It, so the story is... Um, I actually wanted to create a community with my company, Moneta Design, mm. and because I was just brand new to the industry. And when I try to implement those things, people weren't taking it the mm. right way. They're like, oh, we're, you're just trying to highlight yourself. Or mm. you're, it, it's, it was like a crab mindset, which I talk a lot which about. Which is nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I mean, it's your brand. You're supposed to highlight yourself. Yeah. And so then I was like, okay, I, I think I understand. Um, and I've been, someone explained it to me, that Arizona's been through a lot of trauma mm. and a lot of other people that try to take advantage. Right. Um, even today, today right. we're getting a lot of backlash mm-hmm. from some of the uh, people who's been established. Mm-hmm. They say, oh, we've seen communities like you mm-hmm. around. Do you guys come up, take, and then leave? So I was like, okay, I understand. But you, how long have you been in Arizona? All my life. Okay, so you're a part of this community. So why, how are you taking and leaving? People just assumed without even getting getting to they know didn't us. get to know you, yeah. and, and that's the problem. And I say this all the time, and that's why I love this show. I love. I'll say it, I don't care. Yeah, I'm tooting my horn. I love this show because we bring people. I like to say because I'm a native of Arizona. Yeah, the people from the north side, the south side, the east side, and the west, and we mm-hmm. bringing them all together here in the middle on yeah. this show yeah. because a lot of times these people don't know what these people are doing or don't even know these people. 
vice versa, yeah. east, west. I'm giving the wrong directions, but you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> but they don't, they don't even come to the middle mm -hmm. and meet each other. You have film festivals on this side of town that don't come on this side of town and support this film festival. Yeah. And vice versa. So, of course, they're going to think, hey, who's that new dude mm -hmm. causing trouble out there? Yeah. Taking my people away. And and the thing is, uh, I, I knew that I had to find a name that everyone could get behind. Mm -hmm. So I looked and I said, all right, well, uh, I ran through so many names. Uh, production, Arizona, something. Uh -huh. And then I saw that Arizona Filmmakers wasn't taking domain, Instagram, Facebook, all that. And I was like, <laughs> I'm cashing it in. You know what? I'm going to stop you right there. You know why? I think one of the main reasons for that is that I've seen this over the years. People will start a business. Mm -hmm. There may have been an Arizona filmmaker out there somewhere, yeah. but they don't take those extra steps to really create an official, official. business. And they will not go and buy a domain. They will not go and get an LLC because they think they're trying to keep something away from the big guys by hiding what they're doing. I so see. someone like you comes in, oh, Arizona filmmakers don't exist, so it's yours now. Yeah. I've seen that so many times. People don't actually officially have businesses, but they think they do. That's true, which I can't imagine for taxes <laughs> what they're going to do. Because a lot of them aren't paying taxes on this business. Mm -hmm. That's not That doesn't exist on paper. It yeah. exists on social media. It exists on T-shirts. It exists on backdrops. <laughs> yeah. But it doesn't exist on paper. And like one of our guests that was here um, a few weeks ago said, if you don't have it on paper... It's not a business. It's not a business. You yeah. can say this is my business all you want, but it's not a business. So a young man like yourself that has create all these creative thoughts can come in and actually create that business. Yeah. This person could have been using that name for ten years. It's not his name. If yeah. it's not registered, it's not yeah. his name. And I think the other thing that really helped us was with my background in, um, I'm a brand strategist. Uh huh. So that's where Moneta Design comes okay. in. Okay. I've been telling people for years like I can help you turn your business into Nike mm. you know with enough with enough budget and mm -hmm. all our ideas and the way our process is mm -hmm. and I got tired and I was like I'm gonna do it myself I'm gonna go Show build up. my own brands mm -hmm. and I used all those techniques that I know and used it for Arizona filmmakers uh -huh. and that's how we've been able to really in like, such a short period of time mm -hmm. yeah so Arizona filmmaker was created with 2020 Two. two yeah or 20 yeah 2022 and how many events have you had so far maybe like over 10 over 10 over i 10. remember your first one i was mm. there me and it was my, so special it was very special um me and my um executive producer was at your first one and i tell you that place was packed because mm -hmm. people wanted to be there they wanted to see something new yeah and um in my opinion i've gone to hundreds of networking events over the years of being in the industry. Yeah. And this felt new. It didn't feel like when those networking events, hi, I'm Kathy. Yeah, it's your business card. Yeah, it seemed like people actually wanted to be there and cared about the industry and cared about, hey, hi, I'm Kathy. I'd like yes. to meet you officially, looking you in the eye and wanting to meet you. Mm -hmm. It was a different feeling. But that was the first one. And, you know, a lot of times people go, those negative nannies that you're talking about, probably thought well it, he won't do that well the second time <laughs> but then you had a second one sold out sold out tell us about that thing for that second one so the second one was called the producers game night okay so we wanted to uh, create a niched niche <laughs> niche down um event so we gathered all the producers in arizona most of the whoever came and then we had a, a icebreaker for for them to play games oh, okay just you know stripped down very intimate and then we had a panel of producers talk oh, okay. to us and we sold out that then the next one which is our red carpet events mm. um it was at the chateau de vie oh, okay i saw that and it was like 360 people came wow. uh, and we sold out because they limited it us at 300 uh -huh. sold over 60 more just, mm. you know people want to get in and uh yeah we haven't found a venue <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. At this point, they, they it don't matter now. Yeah, it, does, it doesn't matter. Um, uh, we haven't been able to find a venue big enough for us to not s sell out. Uh -huh. 
uh, which is really cool because we post sold out right, posters right. like for each event. And I love that. You know what? Because I've gone to plenty of events where they post sold out and you get there and you like, <laughs> <It's> like <laughs> all these seats. Oh my gosh. All this space. How is it sold out? I mm -hmm. mean, this room capacity has to be 500 and there's less than 100, like 100 people. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I mean, do, does someone just get tired and say, oh, I'm tired of promoting marketing it and I'm just going to give up sold what's sold out? I think they are trying to use that as a, you know, That's scarcity a, kind of um, selling tactic. Makes sense. You know, because when we post sold out, mm, it's officially in, sold. influx of people saying, I want to buy it. And we're like, hey guys, this people... isn't a joke. We did sell out. Like, we can't really sell it. You should have yeah. bought it early. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm, I'm, I want to talk more about that after this commercial break. And we'll be right back. Welcome back to Desert with Days. And I am here with the talented and creative David A. Navarrete. So we were talking about tickets and things um, before we went to commercial break. And, and one of the things that I've noticed over the years is that people will wait to the last minute to purchase their tickets. And, mm -hmm. um, which can make it hard, especially if you're... A beginning production, a small production, I mean any production really, you want to see those tickets coming in. Yeah. But people will wait to the last minute. And I hear it all the time for all types of events. Yeah. yeah. We even struggle with that. Like I said, like we post sold out and then all these people. Then everyone wants, wants to, to buy. Yeah. You but know what? The, you know, I was going to get my check next week and I was planning on buying <laughs> it. Sucks. We get those like every <laughs> single time. Like I, I, Friday, I was planning on Friday. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, so, do you, as with Arizona filmmakers, are you a full fledged um, production team, or is it pretty much you and Stefan handling all of this? So, we have community partners now, okay. uh, and it's just like volunteers in the community that are at this um, volunteering their time to help grow Arizona okay. filmmakers. But we all have our different production companies. Oh, okay. So, we had a shoot called um, BOMO. Or the okay. FOMO epidemic. I don't know if you uh, saw it. I did. Mm -hmm. It was like the the idea was where uh, the doctor comes into the hospital and everybody the hospital's in chaos. Everything is just going crazy. He talks to a nurse and a patient, and the patient's describing feelings of anxiety and and, oh. and then the doctor's like, I've seen this before. It's a bad case of FOMO. And then he says, Did you go to the Arizona filmmakers <laughs> event? And the patient's like, No, we di I didn't get to go. He's like. Go to the next one. That'll help you relieve oh. your FOMO. Oh, I like that. Yeah. And it was really cool because we saw like eight different production companies uh -huh. come together to make that. Oh, okay. And it was a Arizona Filmmakers like project that we released. That was wonderful because, you know, they're showing that there's work for everyone. Mm -hmm. There's no scarcity in the work. Yeah. And there's no competition in the work. Well, a little bit of competition is but good. it's healthy. It, it's healthy competition. Yeah. But that shows that you can work together. Mm -hmm. And that's a good thing about you producing those type of marketing tools like that. So with Arizona filmmakers, David, where do you see Arizona filmmakers, say in like five years, what more do you want to bring out of that? Yeah, uh, mainly like let's say next year, I want to focus on solving some problems that I see in the community. And uh, in the future, there's so many directions. Stefan has to reel, reel me in so uh. that we go in one direction, but I could see us like being like may this i'm very ambitious so maybe like 824 films where we're kind of helping distribute movies here um, or um we're just a giant community uh, and uh almost bringing in people from out of state to uh, see highlight arizona but next year some of the problems i saw is mindset uh -huh. which we kind of talked about uh -huh. how a lot of filmmakers here have this like lack mindset or scarcity mindset right. in january we're bringing in a life coach to help uh -huh. the community and bringing in some of the top producers that we know mm. uh, to be vulnerable in front of the camera, so that you know you see these people, and you kind of you look up look up to these people, and you're like, if they can do it, I can do mm. it. I'm gonna focus on myself too. I have the perfect mind coach mindset coach for you. Do you? She, I mean, she's not in the film industry, but yeah. she's been in the corporate industry, and she's um, she does a lot of events here locally, and she's worked with. Um, actors. I mean, I've seen oh, some. Really? Um, can't think of the um, show. One of the actors. She's a spoken word, and who turned into an actress. That she's been here, and so she's a really good person. I'll get you her yeah, information. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you'd love her, and she she'd be really beneficial for that. Um, 
I, I like where you're going with that because that's a lot of our problem mm -hmm. is the mindset that we have and Arizona is stuck yeah it's been stuck for a long time because we have we're like a melting pot and we have all these people coming in and they're trying to tell us how we should be or how we should act and we go along with what that new saying is or what that new tool is mm -hmm. and then they move on and go about their business then we're stuck there until the next person comes through and say well you know Arizona should be doing it this way now mm -hmm. so we need to know what this Arizona is yes of what the Arizona industry filmmaking industry should look like yeah or as a producer or a filmmaker an actor how does that look for me it may not look the same way it looks for David or someone else or this pers new person coming into town. Mm -hmm. And and I think that's one of our biggest problems is okay. the mindset. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The other thing too is uh, just more projects and more opportunity. Mm -hmm. We talk about trying to bring opportunity and now next year we're actually starting a, a group together mm -hmm. called the Film Raisers. Okay. And so it's gonna be you know part of Arizona Filmmakers but we're getting our goal is to get a hundred members okay. and each quarter, each member puts a hundred dollars, which, okay. you know, a quarter. Like, and that's doable. what I was going to ask. Is this a membership based type um, thing? Yes, but it's fundraising. Okay. So it's not like we're providing value and we're not like, we're not getting all the money for ourselves to mm. do something. It's, uh, every member puts in a hundred dollars and a hundred members, that's $10,000. Mm -hmm. Then at the end of the quarter, people pitch us their scripts, their ideas or their projects. And as a group, collectively, we see how we allocate the money to these projects. Oh, okay. So, that so that's how they get be... something out of that $100 mm -hmm. or what they're contributing to the, um, yeah. the project. And then that money is like circulated within the, the economy of our industry. Mm -hmm. You know, some studio is going to use, the, the project is going to use a studio. Mm -hmm. and then so I've on. heard a couple of people um, say that before, but never seen anyone actually do it. Oh. Yeah, the, I've, heard, it? Uh, I've heard it a couple of times. Um, even outside of the film industry with starting businesses yeah. in our community, doing things in our community. Um, I, mean, I, I think I've even heard of people that's like in the um, agriculture uh, really? in, industry talking about people getting together, creating communities. Mm -hmm. So I, I like that idea. I think it'll be very beneficial as long as it's handled correctly. That's, because that's, yeah. when you start dealing with money, people get funny. <laughs> yes. So, I this mean, is very it's all about transparency and that's what yeah. I hope to make sure that I have that. Um so yeah, we'll see. So I also you know I get around. I also miss saw Mr. David out um at a um Arizona actors event doing photography work yes. there. So it's not that you just do um Arizona filmmakers, you have this whole other life that you do other things outside that benefit our community as well. So as actors and filmmakers, we get to see you out in the community in your environment doing what you do as a professional. Yeah. So um, tell us about your experience with Arizona Filmmakers event. The, or the, the, or the, uh, the conference. The yeah. conference, yeah. Um, so Bella Hibbs event, which is the act, uh, Arizona, uh, Southwest, Southwest Actors Southwest Actors, Conf yes. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, Bella Hibbs is a great client of ours with Moneta Design, huh. and uh, we are really good at shooting uh, corporate events or just events in general. Uh -huh. And uh, it's really cool because uh, people sometimes see me as Arizona filmmakers, mm -hmm. this kind of like person, right? Which which I'd, I. It's hard and they for me forget to, about that other hats, the yeah. other hats that you wear also. So when they see me there, they're like, "Oh, I've been wanting to meet you." This mm -hmm. and that. I was like, "Hey, how's it going? I'm a hugger, you know." Uh -huh. I'm very, and they get to see like another side of me that they don't know yeah. about. Yeah. And they got to see another side of you too. I'm jumping all over the place now. I just saw you on social media singing. Yes. Tell yeah. us about that. Oh man. <laughs> uh, so uh, should I reveal it today? <laughs> okay. So Moneta Design is also a, a leading expert in AI. Okay. We spend thousands of dollars in AIs and seeing what works, what doesn't, like just trying it out. And one AI that we've been trying, and I'm I'm revealing it today. I was gonna reveal it in January, but the singing is my voice. Okay. But it's an AI. Oh, really? Yes. Huh? I can sing. I like karaoke. I love karaoke. But I'm using someone's 
voice and overlaying my voice on top of them. So if they're doing vibrato or they're doing uh -huh. this, my voice mimics that oh. with this AI program. Okay. So. You think I use AI in my musical play that I'm going to be? <laughs> you can I'll be on stage, but somehow AI is taking over my voice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, AI is getting crazy. And I know there's no avoiding it. it mm -hmm. It's like, yeah. you know, when the internet first came out, people were like, oh, shoot, what is this? But like, you know what? They don't realize how much AI we've been using already. We just didn't realize it also. Yeah. So um, what are your new projects coming up? So, Any yeah. new events coming up that we need we, to be aware of? We have the, we ha we're locking in this new event called real vision real like a film reel oh, okay. um and uh it's a manifestation new year's resolution type of event uh so it, when you come we're gonna have a uh, paper that you can write down your new year's resolution oh, okay. or your notes to your future self we're gonna hold on to those and give them back to you at the end of the year okay and then where there's gonna be breakout rooms where we're gonna talk about how we can help each other um get achieve those goals oh okay at the end we'll wonderful just, yeah. so yes my mindset person will be perfect for you yeah. she does all kinds of stuff like that oh, that'd be, that'd be great. where can our audience find you so you can find me at uh, moneta design uh, on instagram and arizona filmmakers on instagram and then i have a personal one called storyteller david n and facebook group is arizona filmmakers Thank you. It's such a pleasure to have you back thank again. You. Yeah. Thank you. And thank you for joining us here today at Desert With Days. And we'll catch you next time. Today's episode of Desert With Days with Kathy Blaze was sponsored today by Colobarts Entertainment. Visit them at colobartsent.com.